Hello, this is Mikey with VideoMissile.com, and we have another After Effects 5 minute tutorial. Now, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel to be sure that you'll receive all the latest updates and videos that I post. This is the last video in our beginning series, and I'm going to be going over rendering out your final project. I have created here a project. It's pretty cool. Words come in. They animate and scale a little bit and then fly down and of course motion blur. And I want to render this out into a video file. So I can use it in my video editing program, Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, one of those things, iMovie, Movie Maker, whatever you want to use it in. But if you're using After Effects, you're probably not using Movie Maker or iMovie. Just a quick note. So let's render this out. What you want to do is make sure that your render queue is turned, is is on. So in my workspace, click on render queue and it brings me here. You always want to render your things out through the render queue. You can export, um, but you don't have a lot of options here. So in the render queue, I can, it's as easy as taking my composition up in my project window, dragging it and dropping it in there. Now when I'm here, I've got some options. First thing I want to do is make sure I'm saving it to the right place in the right name. And how you do that is right here where it says output two, and it says comp1.mov. That's because that was the name of my composition. So if I click right there where it says comp1.mov, it'll bring up the dialog box. And I want to save it to five minute tutorials. My cool project. And then I want to save it as a quick time movie. Click save. And now it's going to be saved to the right place with the right name. Now, how is it being exported? So there's there's a couple of options here. There's the render settings and the output module. If I look in the render settings, of course I want the best quality, full resolution. So I'm not even going to change with this stuff because I want it to be the best it can be. Now the output module, I'm going to click here. There is a triangle. I'm going to click on that and there's lots of presets. I can come in here and do an H.264, say I'm going to upload this to YouTube. That's a good option. Um, a lossless with an alpha channel. If I need a transparency for some reason, then that's a good option. Or a custom. But what I usually do is I'll click right here where it says lossless, which is the default format that it outputs. And it brings up this module settings dialog box. And this is where I can change everything. I can come in here, change you know what format it's outputting it. I want to do a quick time. If there's any post render actions, do I want to re-input it, import it into my project and replace certain footage? I'm just gonna do none. Now my video output. What channels? RGB, alpha, RGB plus alpha. I don't have any alpha channels in this, so RGB is just fine. And I want to go to my format options. Now this is where I can choose the video codec. Right now it's set at animation, which is a very big codec. It'll create large files. So I wanna go in and change that. I'm gonna change it to something that works good with my editor, which is ProRes. So I'm gonna go in and change it to ProRes 422HQ, and that works good with my editor, which is Final Cut Pro. And I can click OK. And then if I have audio, I need to make sure I click on the audio and I can check my settings here as well 48k 16 bit stereo these are the things i want and that's really it and it's as simple as changing a few quick settings right here and i click render and it's gonna take me through you can see the progress bar down there And it's done. And I can see here where I saved it to. There's my project. And here it is, a rendered out movie. Thank you for watching my video on rendering. It's pretty simple, pretty basic. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Put them down in the comments and I'll help you out where I can. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to like and share this video. Again, this is Mikey with VideoMissile.com.